Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will understand the interaction styles. So, let's get started. In the previous videos, we have understood that interaction is nothing but a dialogue between the system and the user. This dialogue takes place through an interface. The dialogue between the user and the system is influenced by the style of the interface. Some of the common interface styles include command line interface, menus, natural language, question answer and query dialog, form fills and spreadsheet, WIMP, point and click, and three-dimensional interfaces. So let us understand them in detail. First is command line interface. Command line interface is one of the first dialog styles. It provides a means of expressing instructions to the computer directly using function keys, single characters, abbreviation, or whole word command. Let us understand few advantages and disadvantages of command line interface. Advantages It offers direct access to the system functionality. For example, here we can see that mkdir command helps us to create a new directory named YouTube. So, we can directly access a system function like creating a folder. Next is they can be combined to apply a number of tools to the same data. Here we can see that using pipeline operator, we can combine two different commands which run one after another in a pipeline. So, here we create a directory that is test1 and then rename the directory as test2. Next advantage is the command often has a number of options or parameters. For example, we can see ls or list computer files command can be used with different options or parameters. Hyphen a also lists the hidden files. Hyphen s lists the files in a sorted manner and hyphen r lists them in a reverse manner. Thus, they can be applied to many objects at once, making it useful for repetitive tasks. Let us understand few of the disadvantages. Commands must be remembered. Hence, it makes it difficult for the no voice users. Commands can vary across systems, creating some confusion and overhead in learning. The next interaction style is Menu. In a menu-driven interface, the set of the options available to the user is displayed on the screen and selected using mouse or numeric or alphabetic keys. For example, here we can see different menus like File, Edit, Format, View and Help. Let us understand few of the advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. As options are visible, they are less demanding of the user and hence we can rely on recognition rather than recall. For example, here we can see that the home menu shows all the possible options available. Hence, we can just recognize what option we need to use. Further, the logical grouping of the menus can help in the interaction. Here we can see that the menu is divided into different logical groups like clipboard, organize, new, open and select. Now let us move on to the disadvantages. If menus are hierarchical, then grouping and naming of the menus is the only cue to find the next level menu option which is usually hidden. Here we can see that to define the layout of the page, we need to move to the layout menu and inside that move to columns and select the layout as 1 or 2. Here if we fail to recognize which is the parent menu of the hierarchical menus, then it will be difficult to navigate the child menus. The next interaction style is natural language. Natural language interface allows user to interact with the system using spoken or written natural language. For example, search box in YouTube allows us to enter a voice search. Let us understand few advantages and disadvantages. Advantages Most intuitive option for humans Eliminates the need to memorize commands or navigate through complex menus. Disadvantages are The ambiguity of the natural language makes it very difficult for a machine to understand. For example, if we take a word pitch, it may refer to a sports field or throw or a sales pitch. It is very difficult to understand what the word means unless a context is provided. Thus, it may lead to undesirable outcomes or unexpected results. The next interaction style is question answer and query dialogue. First, let us understand question answer dialogue. Question and answer dialog is a simple mechanism for providing input to an application in a specific domain. The user is asked a series of questions 
Mainly, yes or no responses, multiple choice or codes, and so is led through the interaction step by step. For example, web questionnaires or ATM machine. We all have seen a similar interface while withdrawing cash from an ATM machine. The machine interface asks a few set of questions, which are multiple choice or yes or no, and leads us through the interaction step by step. Let us understand few of the advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. Interfaces are easy to learn and use. Hence, they are useful for novice and casual users. Disadvantages It is limited in functionality and power, and hence they are appropriate for only restricted domains, particularly information systems. Now, let us understand query dialog. Query languages are used to construct queries to retrieve information from a database. They are used as natural language style phrases but in fact require specific syntax as well as knowledge of the database structure. For example, web search engine. Let us understand few of the advantages and disadvantages. They can retrieve complex information from a database. Disadvantages. Queries can become quite complex when multiple attributes are involved. Most query languages do not provide direct confirmation of what was requested, so the only validation the user can do is using the result of the search. That's it for this video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have found this video helpful, then do not forget to like and share the video with your friends and subscribe to Be The Best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the HMI series. Bye-bye.